Hi again, everybody. I, uh, as promised, I'm going to do a quick video about the uh, things I did to my Catalina 22 on the exterior. I already did one on the interior, which I, since then, I've added a little bit there. I made uh, I put the, the pop-top helper um, things on there to help raise the pop-top up, which I said I was going to do in the first video. I have done that since then. Um, first off with the trailer, repacked the bearings, put new bearings in it, repacked them, bought new tires for both sides. I put new LED lights on it, which I did that last year. This is the original trailer come with a boat. I, I got lucky and had a, a boat this time with a trailer that had a, had a title to it. That's uncommon. It's got rollers on them. I hate them. I'd rather have a I'd a whole lot rather have uh, regular bunks. Put a new strap on on the uh, winch. Winch works good. Here, I put a new eye on here, and then um, I showed on the other one where I backed it up on the inside with a piece of epay. Here's a new new ground tackle I got for it. This is the uh, this a little old Delta type anchor. Um, the problem is this anchor hits a hole right there, so I got to put a piece of stainless or something on the hole to keep that from happening. Added this roller, took off that junky old plastic cleat. I've got this bolt would not come out for nothing. I have beat and beat and beat, so I'm gonna glass over it. Um, here I've got I've rigged a downhaul so I can pull my jib down. This right here is where I raise, I use the main sheet to raise the mast up. I can raise the mast up pretty quick. And I got 20 foot of chain, goes through here into the uh, forward berth. Don't use it to sleep in. I hit my head on it, I hate it. This boat's pretty good for what it is. It's Catalina 22, there's a billion of them out there. Um, it works okay for around here, and I have got plans to build my dream boat, and I I recently uploaded a video, I think this morning, about it. Uh, here's a big old cleat. I always put a big old cleat or a Samson post or something in the middle of my boats, and I back them up with a big piece of steel, aluminum plate, whatever you got laying around. Just That's what I do. Uh, I've got this this uh chalk off of a off of another boat i every time i have a boat and I end up with extra pieces i throw them in a bucket and reuse them but my plan is to use this boat until i until i build my new one now going back um i had to rebuild a lot of this stuff on this boat the hinges this hatch was off there was two foot of water in it i fixed all that I run all my my halyards aft, and I got a new radio, new wire. This I put on last year. It's just dirty. It's uh, lights for the mast and the deck fitting for that. And I've got uh, I always like to put heavier line than need be because I like to hold on to. It's easier to hold on to. And I had this line, so I use that. That's my main halyard. That my jib halyard. Run through a block, right down beside the the handholds on the on the cabin top, and right on back, and I'll show you that in a minute. This is a the Bimini I got. Got it on Amazon. They're 130 bucks. You gotta cut like seven inches out of them to make them work on a on a Catalina to go under the boom. But you can still see. I can. I'm five foot nine and i can still no i'm not even that high maybe i'm five eight five nine something average american dude maybe a little less than average in some ways whatever anyway i can still stand up under it uh moving on back i had to get some new the hatch boards were no good so i threw them away and got some plywood and just made some and uh I routed them. This is regular old AC plywood from the hardware store. 
and I route it out so that they sit in one another and don't leak. I uh, just took a router and a straight blade, route them where they go together. Um, I redid all the teak, took it off, sanded it, and I did that last summer. It held up all winter, looks good. And I just washed the front half of this boat this week, and I haven't got back here yet. You can see it's still a little grungy. I put a Samurai 7 on there so for um, navigation. These uh, halyard tail bags were at West Marine on sale, half off. Got them in Wilmington. Got two of them. Put me a new compass. New Richie compass. This is how I, how I tighten the halyards right here. And go into the bags in the cockpit. I added these uh, courtesy lights in the cockpit and that's real nice. I should have did that a long time ago. Um, put one on the other side too. Put me a cup holder. Got me some uh, trolling rod holders on the back. Got my stern anchor. Just sits on, a, on one of these uh, stern anchor chalk things. I don't know. That is my throwable. It's an inflatable throwable. And you just pull it out and throw it out and it blows up with CO2 cartridges. I'll show it from the back when I get back there. Uh, had this old halyard, uh, had this main sheet set up off another boat. It was an extra one on another boat. I kept it when I sold the boat. I put a brand new Mercury 5 horsepower motor on there with a long shaft. I'll show that. And then I've got a solar panel that needs cleaning. And this is a 30, so it keeps my battery charged up for the most part. I took off those plastic cleats and put on some that I had, again, out of the old parts bucket. This is where the deck penetrates, or these um, wires for that solar panel penetrate through the deck. Uh, let's see. I put, I do have, um, I have a autopilot that is super awesome. Wouldn't have this boat without it. But you got to do a little work on it. This is the ST2 Raymarine autopilot. And you got to add 8 inches to them. Of course, everything I got needs about 8 inches added to it. Seems like maybe a little bit less. But anyway, and I made it out of a piece of galvanized pipe, welded it right there. It threaded right straight on that end. It's a regular old pipe thread. And then this end, I just, I just filled that full, full of epoxy and sawdust mixed together, crammed it full, drilled the hole to fit the pin on the tiller. That's all, she, all there is to it. Right back here I have my anchor and road, anchor line and road for, for my stern anchor. I added these cleats back here because my fuel tank fits perfect right, right between here. Um, I added uh, scuppers here because these scuppers aren't worth a crap so I added these and when I did that I had to add a piece of fiberglass panel that I had left over at the house too I've still yet got to fix this I got to fix it this week because I'm going to Nags Head there's the fuel tank it comes out I also bought a brand new mainsail and it's fully battened which was stupid I shouldn't have bought a fully battened mainsail that's just ignorant just get a plain old regular mainsail. It doesn't make much difference on the way the boat handles. In fact, it probably adds a little weather helm, and you don't need that on these boats. Headed down the ladder. 
probably gonna kill myself here oh yeah and I took the uh, I took the lifelines off because they're just high enough to pitch you over the side so I just took them off just don't fall off anyway here's my little mercury brand new mercury 1500 bucks four stroke five horsepower it does fine I put a brand new uh, I put this new I've had two of these and I had one on a big boat I had for a nine horsepower and it broke right there and threw the engine off in the drink so if you're gonna put a decent sized motor on here you need to take this off this part handles it fine this is the extra heavy one it handles it fine it's this part it'll break off it's just plastic you can see how it's designed and uh, you need to take this off make a pattern with it and double or triple you up about three pieces of three-quarter plywood and build out of this I just I probably ought to do it but I hadn't done it yet I may hook a safety line I don't want to throw my brand new motor in the drink uh, and I moved it moved it around because this is the extra long shaft on here and it'll kick plumb up out of the water too but uh it works really easy I might could do it one-handed just kick you can see it'll go it'll go way down in there and it's got several adjustments so as you can see it puts it way down in the water it doesn't come out much when you're hobby horsing out of an inlet or something all right here this is pretty important i added a piece of three-quarter epe to bring the top of this where you hang your uh, rudder on bring it out a little bit it helps with the weather helm i don't know if it's just me or what it is but i had a lot of weather helm with this boat every time i've tried to use it, it could be that mainsail that i got i don't know because i never had another mainsail the other mainsail was ripped all the way up so i had to get a new one here's my my scuppers that I put for the cockpit and I put got the ones with that has the so it can't water can't go in but it can come out then I put this little ladder come off of Amazon on there it works good even for a fat guy and the name of this boat was Eclipse I took the top off the top letters off I got to get that reprinted if I ever do put new LED running lights all the way around Oh, here's a picture of that inflatable. Um, the sun's in the wrong place, so you might not be able to see it, but you can see it in there. It's just a buoy, or it's a, a, a safety ring, and you just pull it out, and when you pull it out and throw it, it inflates. Then from Catalina Direct, I bought this, this roller that helps you raise the mast, and also you're supposed to be able to haul it with it on there. Then I got two two rod holders for trolling for Spanish when when the time comes to do that so we get the Spanish come in pretty close and you can just sail down the beach and catch Spanish so that's pretty cool but uh, I made one of these right here out of a uh, like the best uh, the best paint roller extendable paint roller handle that you can buy a big old heavy one and it worked pretty good for a long time I made the roller I threw it away since then. I thought I was really going to upgrade with this. This is just, it's the same. I could have kept the one I had, but anything to help you get the mast up by yourself, because I'm always by myself, helps. Anyhow, that's pretty much everything I've done. I did get me some galvanized wire and may, and some, and some, uh, ferrules and everything in the tool and made me some replacements, one replacement for every stay. So I can take it with me in case something happens. And I bought one or two of these turnbuckles extra. And they're in my kit inside for... I'll have to show that because I've had some misfortunes on the water. And I've learned to have extra stays made. And I made those stays for near to nothing. Probably 20 bucks. I mean, just use galvanized wire. You're not leaving them on there. You just need it in case just to get you by through your vacation or however long you're, you're out there. <clears throat> I put a new new antenna on the top of the mast too So anyhow, I promised I'd do this video and I just haven't had time to do it 
but you got to keep your eye out for stuff used and there's a marine consignment shop here that you can go in and find stuff or you can go on ebay and find stuff and that's where i found i found that roller it fits on there good bolted it through backed it up in this inside and uh i probably need to paint the bottom uh but i spent a week in clearwater florida and the bottom was fine so uh all right so i appreciate everybody watching and as promised i'll show you this you know these trailers these steel trailers they don't last they get eat up pretty quick look at the rust coming out of this piece of square tubing but it'll last me as long as i need it to to get i think i'm gonna build me another boat i i need to build me a scow something good for here there ain't no water in the south it's all real shallow and i like to I like to find places to hole up and gunk coal here and there and it's fun to do. Another thing that you can't see it, but that spreader light or that light up by my steaming light, I put an LED light like an like a really bright one. And I can turn that on and see where I'm going at night. But the the three things that I would think that everybody needs to do, most especially on these boats, to make it easy for you to handle, you need an autopilot four things actually you need an autopilot you need to run your lines aft all you can and then you need your ground tackle easy to throw off the front because when you're trying to anchor up and the wind's blowing the boat backwards as fast as it is forward and you're, you've luffed up and you're trying to get your anchor out you don't need it in a bucket and all that and you got to dig it out and you're by yourself you need to be able to just go up and kick the anchor off the front so that was important. Let's see, we did the autopilot, the anchor, run your lines aft. I said four things and I don't remember what the fourth one was, but anything you can think of that you can do from the cockpit or it's easy to do once you get up forward. Oh, the downhaul, downhaul for the jib. Anything like that you can do is a big deal. So, uh, oh yeah, and on these swing kills, I did replace those swing kill bolts then they're super easy to do ain't nothing to it especially if it's on a trailer you just need to put a jack put you a little old jack or something under it here to hold up on the keel so my plan is to just get this boat just get it okay to use until i build my other one i'm not going to throw a bunch more money in it i'm going to start putting money in in uh in my sailing scale that i put another video about i'm gonna start gathering up stuff and try to get it done in a year or two and then we'll be back on go so i'll talk to you guys later thanks a lot for watching